What's going on, y'all? My name is Brandon, and thanks for tuning back in for another episode here. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. I've had a couple people ask me to post some more content of uh, my underwater footage that I've made with my little GoPro rig. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll drop a link in the description and also right here at the top. So basically what it is, is just a little rig, homemade rig that I made that you could strap a GoPro to, drop it down offshore and see what kind of fish are down there, what the structure looks like and all that good stuff. So I do want to do like a little quick overview here. Let's minimize that. So if you go online, there's all these public spots that anybody can look at. And it's anything from pyramids to uh, tanks to ships, barges, chicken coops, all that kind of stuff. And there's hundreds of these spots, not to mention all the private spots that people have paid to put out, you know, like chicken coops and uh, private pyramids and vehicles and all that good jazz. So anyways, the spot that I went to that I dropped my GoPro down on is this tank right here. And if you go over to the side, it shows you all this information such as uh, like when it was dropped, shows the coordinates, what it is, it'll show you the depth and all that. So this is where we're going to be dropping it at and this will be my first time seeing this video and y'all's first time. I haven't watched this video at all. Figured it'd be pretty cool just to do like a little reaction video, you know. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this. All right. So when I got to the spot, I recorded my fish finder just to show y'all what it looks like on the fish finder. So as y'all can see, 78 foot of water, there's a uh, fish all through the middle of the water column and that little dark spot at the, uh, oh, let me get this out of the way. That little dark spot right there at the bottom right, that would be the tank here. Obviously plenty of fish on here, about to find out what it is. It was a beautiful day out here, clear of water. So I switched to the GoPro, dropping it down, let's fast forward it just a little bit. Alright, that should be good. So we're probably about 20 foot down here. Let's see what we see first. I'm going to go ahead and say red snapper. Holy crap. That's a lot of snapper. Go down, go down. It's, right now it's spinning. More snapper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we ain't even on the bottom yet. Alright, here's the bottom. Real sandy. Don't see the tank yet. Bam, just hit. Look at all the snapper, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the tank right there. That's the tank. You can see it. I didn't want to get too close to it because I didn't want to get my uh, my GoPro rig hung up in it. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that snapper right there. That's probably a 15 pounder. Now these fish, they don't look as big down here as they do, or they don't look as big on the screen as they do out of the water. So I mean, keep in mind, these are all, I mean, these are good size snapper. What the heck are they doing? Y'all see that? They're rolling on their bellies on the bottom. Hold on, let me rewind that. Are they like spawning or something? <laughs> That's crazy. There is no other fish species that I can see. I don't know if y'all have see anything else different here there ain't no lane snapper there's no mangroves no trigger fish it's nothing but red snapper golly and i'm not even on top of the wreck here or not i'm not even top on top of the tank that's a that's a pretty big one there that's a hoss Oh, there's a trigger fish. One, uh, one lonesome trigger fish out of all these snapper. Right there. Not even a big one. Jeez. Yeah, 
there's big whole sow, sow snapper there. That's got to be a 17, 18 to 20 pounds red snapper. And this is on a public spot, y'all. I mean, this ain't nothing private. Y'all seen the coordinates I just had up. But that's all it is here. Not even any mangrove snapper. Dude, that's crazy them snapper they're just rolling on their sides on the bottom oh look some sheepy heads that's a, that's a pretty big sheep head too look at it compared to that snapper holy crap <clears throat> no vermilion snapper no groupers bunch of them down there I think I, I brought it up a little bit and I got a little closer to the tank. Let's fast forward it here. What else we got? What else we got? There we go, we're getting back into fish. It's just unbelievable, y'all. And they're trying to say that the red snapper population is hurting. I mean, look at this. This is on a one public spot out of thousands of spots offshore. Just one. I mean, they're just, they're all through the water column here. No amberjack. They're probably eating everything on the reef here. Jeez. Well, all right, y'all, that's going to be it. Uh, obviously, the red snapper population is not hurting. And uh, if y'all want to see some more of this kind of content, y'all drop a comment below and let me know. And hit that thumbs up button for me. I really would appreciate it. And hopefully next time y'all see me, we'll be out on the water catching some more fish. So y'all take it easy. We'll see you back next time.